I'm Jackson Brown, and this is my metal water bottle that I carry with me. The standards are much higher in municipal water supplies than any of the bottle companies. Plus, they're using, they're using municipal water supplies, selling it back to us, then asking us to pay for the recycling. All they're really doing is selling us this convenience. And it's at an incredibly exorbitant cost. I mean, they're taking what is ours to begin with, packaging it in a, in a really lethal way, and then ch charging us and overcharging us for it. I mean, if you think that that's convenient, I don't think it is. I think it's highly inconvenient. I feel I'm inconvenienced by that. And, um, and I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm not going to participate in it. And it's actually more fun to exercise my right and my, my progress to do it my way and, and I, I, I associate it with the kind of defiance that, that, I, that I feel about so many other things. And, and, but it's, it's strong, it's healthy, it's empowering, and it's, um, and it's fun. It's more fun than, uh, than taking that crap. Well, the other day in the airport, I was, there to fill, I was filling my bottle. Because I had poured it out, I go through, I go through the, uh, you, ha you can't carry liquid through the security check, so I, I drank from my bottle and then, you know, poured it out and, you know, I, I, I don't mind getting attention for doing this because I think it's something everybody could do. Water costs about five dollars or something a bottle, or maybe, it's th or maybe it's three bottles, three, three dollars a bottle in the airport, but the, they do have drinking fountains still and you can do that. Um, I'm really happy about you having gotten Britta to take their, their, their filters back because I, take, I, have, I have a filter in my suitcase. This is what we did on tour. On, on we, we decided, we, after we, we looked at these flats of plastic bottles that were, were delivered to our tour every day. Anyway, so we, then we started carrying, we carried our own coolers, so the, our coolers get offloaded off the truck just like our guitars. And they, there's one backstage on this one, there's one out, and there's one in the dressing room, and one of them has hot water if you want to make a, a cup of tea or something. But the point is, you know where the water is, and you, know, and you have your own bottle, and it's on your, on your belt. Do you want to say something about your idea for the tags on the water yeah, bottles? Yeah, this is my, my, the, my latest thought, is that in the hotels I travel in, they always offer you a bottle of water. Sometimes the hotels give me free water, but it's in plastic and I can't really take it. And, but they don't know that I've declined the water unless I, do, I let them know. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna create a tag that I've made at home and I travel, keep, keep with me, keep on me, maybe an envelope full of them or something. And it's gonna, I'm going to be able to put it on their water. I'm not going to defile their water in any way, but I'm going to let them know that I don't accept it. It's going to say, this water has been declined by a member of a worldwide movement to protect the planet and our own health and to take back our right to, the most basic human right there is, a right to a, in a clean environment. If you look at Fiji, you know, all they really got is a square bottle. That's really all they got. It breaks my heart to see these these uh, albatross feeding their young infant, these uh, infant birds, these plastic, and then they, they die from it. They're dying of starvation. But it's a metaphor for our whole society. Our whole society, our whole world, we're dying. We're, being, we're starved for real food. We're starving for real information. And we're starving for an authentic life. So this is one way, this is what it symbolizes to me. And when I see somebody sitting, you know, on a corner with one of these, I think, ah, my brother. <laughs>